Hi guys, welcome to Only Maths Tutorial Point. Today we are going to discuss of Chapter 8, Class 10, Similar Triangles, Sums Based on Basic Proportionality Theorem, Continuation. Page number 201 guys, try this exercise. Third sum, PQ is given as 1.28 cm, PR is given as 2.56 cm and P is given as 1.8 cm. PF is given as 3.6 cm. So draw a rough triangle by mentioning all the dimensions. Given that PQ is given as 1.28, PR is given as 2.5, and P is given as 1.8, we don't know QE, and PF is given as 3.6, we don't know RF value, guys. Okay, take down the given information. Given that PEF is a triangle and Q and R are the points of the sides of the triangle PE comma PF okay now we need to find EF is parallel to QR okay. take down the given values now see from the triangle PE can be written as PQ plus QE right yes or no PE can be written as guys PQ can be PE can be written as PQ plus QE Okay, first write on that. What is given here? PQ is given as 1.28, PE is given as 1.8. Okay, how can you find QE? PE minus PQ will get QE value, guys. Okay, that only I mentioned here. We get X value I took as QE. Okay, we get 1.8 minus 1.28, we get 0.52. Therefore, Q U Q E is equal to E Q equal to X that equals 0 0.58. Therefore, the length of Q E is 0 0.52 guys. How we got this one? By subtracting P E length minus P Q length. We get this area Q E length. Okay. Now, you keep this side. Now coming to this side guys. P F. P F value they gave. P R value they gave. How to find R F value? That is same as usual way okay now mention all the dimensions and we get rf value is nothing but 1.04 after substituting after simplifying okay then see guys uh, to know whether qr is parallel to ef first of all we should know all the dimensions of the triangle right so that only i mean uh, we simplified here first step so we got QE value as 0 0.52 and we got RF value as 1.04 okay now we got all the dimensions on the triangle right now we can find whether QR is parallel to EF or not now substitute the values PE by EQ okay that is 1.8 by 0 0.52 we get 0 0.9 by 0 0.26 guys after simplifying similarly PF by FR, PR can be written as PF by FR that equal to 3.6 by 1.04. We get after simplifying 0 0.9 by 0 0.26. So we got same values, right? PE by EQ value and PF by PF by FR value we got the same. Therefore, these two lines are parallel guys. Therefore, PE by EQ equal to PF by FR therefore ef is parallel to qr see it therefore qr line is parallel to ef guys since it was a parallel therefore the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio okay i hope you understand this sum please go through this sum once again if at all any doubt you can comment me in the comment section okay this comes under converse of bpt guys this method we call it as converse of bpt because we are not uh, simplifying directly right yes or no so, so please subscribe to my channel for more videos and and for more updates guys in the next video we'll cover some more sums of same category thank you